Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that his hard work, all the results will show, and they have for Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure he put on Los Angeles to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now and in those fights why he's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Or Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date. Can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Perth, Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Jack Delon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. the octagon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this thing? And they separate. Right hand punch for the twist. Back to 
the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big leg kick lands. Ooh. Oh, single collar tie here. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Boosman gets in the clinch. And again. transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Gotta be careful, arm bar. Oh, we're getting to finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. The win by submission, beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare. So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking him in this spot tonight. As Dominic Cruz said, when you became the double champ, he got it done. Not many people expected him to win. Those three guys that walked to the octagon with him were sure that he would win this fight. All you need is your army. You're the warriors on the front line. And that group of warriors knew that they could